I received two of these Transformer Crossover Megatron His Tanks from GameStop and I immediately sold them. Let's find out why. So many people have been receiving these in the mail recently and it's cool to see all the excitement about this product. I've been a fan of both G.I. Joe and Transformers since the beginning so this is pretty much a dream come true and something that my kid self would have never ever imagined actually happening. There is no doubt that this figure is really awesome. But with the state of collecting these days and the price of everything going through the roof, this one was a tough pill to swallow for a person like me whose personal mantra is that I do my collection on the cheap. You have to ask yourself if this figure is really worth the price and everyone is certainly going to have their own opinions. I personally don't have unlimited funds to spend on this hobby, so with prices steadily going up on everything, it's hard to justify spending money on big ticket items like this one. That being said, when the pre-order went live for Megs a while back, I swiftly ordered two, as I wasn't sure what the availability would be like in the future and I wanted to have my bases covered. Here in Canada, the MSRP of this product is $129.99. Add in your taxes and that comes to $147. Now, lucky me, I have an edge card at GameStop so I got a discount which brought it down to $117 plus tax, which then comes out to a little over $130. Not a bad deal, but still pricey when it comes to a few pieces of plastic. I was confident in knowing that I'd secured the product. However, here's a hot tip. Never stop looking for the product that you want, even after you have it. A few weeks after ordering, Amazon Canada had this on sale for $94, which is $40 off the MSRP of $130, so I quickly order it. While that price is still quite high, it's a lot easier to swallow than the original Hasbro MSRP. The $40 is certainly better in my pocket than GameStop's. So that is where my intro comes into effect. While I was super excited to get Megs in the mail, I couldn't justify paying a $130 price tag when I knew I ordered him for Amazon for almost $40 less. Now, here is the monkey wrench. People are getting these from places like GameStop and some other local retailers during the month of October. My one from Amazon says it doesn't ship until January. That is quite the difference. I'm taking a risk here as Amazon Canada has a history of not being able to acquire toys to fulfill placed orders. So I have my fingers crossed that Amazon comes through with the cheaper price. I guess when it comes down to it, while I do love my Joes and Transformers, I don't need them day one. I'm perfectly good with waiting if I can get them for a little cheaper. This allows me to stretch my ever shrinking buying power just a little further. Now. Check out my how to score big at your local con for my main strategy on getting toys for cheap by waiting a little longer. With prices being raised on all of our favorite toy lines, I as a collector have to make tough choices on what I want to spend my money on. For me, some lines have fallen to the wayside, such as Black Series, which I've currently abandoned. This allows me to focus on other lines that have become more important to me, like G.I. Joe Classified. As mentioned earlier, for me, there's only so much money to go around. Anyways, let me know what you would have done in my situation. Would you have kept the megs at the higher price point? Or would you have been willing to roll the dice to get megs for a cheaper price? I'm curious what you have to say. Leave a comment below. Also, let us know if you've had to change your collecting habits because of rising toy prices. Thanks for watching. Interested in one of our other videos? Why not subscribe to the channel so you never miss another one? We'll see you in the next one. Bye.